As you can see, I'm here in this huge hall, which was part of an old, no longer used shopping mall. And you see around me beds filled with people. Mostly you see mothers and small kids because the men between the ages of 18 and 60 had to stay behind in Ukraine. The conditions here are not so good. On the one hand, it's heartwarming to see that there's food and there are all kinds of volunteer organizations that are helping. But you see the looks on the faces of these people. They're in complete despair. Their worlds that they knew don't exist anymore. Their families are torn apart. They don't understand where they're going in the future. The small number of those here that have a connection with Israel and a connection to Judaism, thank God our partners on the ground, the Jewish Agency, the Foreign Ministry, are working with them together with your help and support with Karen Ayesod to get them food, clothing, shelter, and to get them to Israel. But all of the others have no idea what their future has in store for them. I just met a mother who brought her three children here. She's sending them to Portugal to, with people that she doesn't even know and then she's going to continue to go back to Ukraine to volunteer. We just met another family, um, an elderly couple, where the husband is a Holocaust survivor. And now he, uh, with the uh, help of our friends, the Jewish Agency, Eben Ezer and others, were able to be saved and rescued and they're going to be arriving in Israel and he's going to be celebrating his 90th birthday. That's a Holocaust survivor. There are tens and tens of thousands of stories. This is nothing short of a human tragedy. Um, and it's so inspiring to see all of the various organizations from Israel and all around the world that have come together to try to help from a place of humanity and from a place of trying to see another person with such a tragedy, it's impossible to walk around and look around and not think about one's own family and one's own back, background and all the different things that we have that we take for granted. So it was very important for me to share these images with you and to give you a glimpse into what's going on. In this very facility, I was told that 3,000 people come through here a day. 3,000 people. It's impossible to even comprehend.